July 1941. German troops continue their march toward Leningrad. The Japanese occupy Saigon. And the United States continues to mull it all over. One more. Meanwhile, in London, the unending blitzkrieg continues. In response, Prime Minister Churchill has traveled back in time and assembled the greatest scientific minds the world has ever known in a last-ditch effort to turn the tides of the war. Nikola Tesla, known pigeon enthusiast and master of electricity. Tapudi, the world's first chemist, whose tonics and perfumes can cloud the minds of men. Charles Darwin has the ability to metamorphosize into any animal, but does his radical theory of evolution hold any water? God only knows. Marie Curie, mistress of radiation, and she's definitely a no-nonsense kind of gal. Sigmund Freud. We're not really sure why he's here. It's because I have the power to control people's sexual thoughts. Observe. And the newest member of the team, a 14-year-old clone of Albert Einstein. Time is relative to this young man, allowing him to travel at super speeds. Together, they form the Super Science Friends. Now, let's listen in as they prepare for their next daring adventure. More right, Super Science Friends. This week, we're facing our greatest threat ever. Patent infringement? Male chauvinism? That giant Hitler bot that keeps trying to get in? No, it's even worse. All of England's apples are disappearing. These are the only apples left. You can barely make a decent cobbler out of this. Z3, take us through it. Of course, Herr Churchill. I wish he wouldn't call me that. I've traced the mysterious disappearance of apples to some time in the late 1600s. For some reason, someone or something has traveled to that moment and is systematically destroying them. Every Granny Smith, every Macintosh, and yes, even the Red Delicious. King of all the apples. Hmm, perhaps the villain is harvesting the apples as an energy source to fuel some sort of apple-powered doomsday device. Outrageous! This plague upon our apples could only mean the death of the bumblebees. We'll find their little bee carcasses strewn across the land. You need to go back in time and discover who is behind this. I really think that maybe Hitler bot is the To the science mobile! Not so fast, Albert. You know you're not old enough to go on missions. This E equals MC sucks. I have to go to the bathroom. Hey, Freud, good luck with your mission. Mission. So, whatever did you do? Well, I had him flogged within an inch of his life, of course. Children are more troubled than they're with. Quite right. friends have arrived safely in the past. Excellent. Now pay close attention, Albert. These people are professional researchers. Observe how they hunt for clues, not even letting the most minor detail go unnoticed. <sighs> God damn it. I'll show you who's not old enough. Where do we even begin? Finding some apples would be a good start. 
This part of the orchard seems completely devoid. First one to find an apple wins ten minutes behind the cider shed with me. No apples here. No apples here. No apples here. No apples. No apples. <gasps> it can't be. <gasps> Isaac Newton! You are so cool. You don't even know how your law of attraction meant to me deep down. I gotta tell the others. They're never gonna believe it! Lasers. If that's the case, then we're looking at technology far beyond our own. Which means whoever is meddling in this time must be from the future. Well, I don't mean our future, but the future. The future future. Classic female hysteria. Hmm. Guys! Guys! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're never gonna believe it. Einstein, what are you doing here? Never mind that. Listen! An apple orchard is no place for a young boy. Wait, I'm telling you! If you needed help with your biology homework, we could have waited until we got home. No, 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 no! Look! Hey, you found the apples. You're uh, a little younger than what I usually go for, but I guess a deal's a deal. Ugh. It's Isaac Newton! Besides totally being my hero since I was born, he's also the father of modern physics. His theory of gravity changed the world! Which he thought of when an apple fell on his head. <gasps> he's even more majestic than I imagined. He stop breathing on me. Besides, Newton is totally overrated. I mean, he still believes in alchemy. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What the devil are those? Abominations of nature! We'd better call this in. Z3, is Churchill there? Hey, Churchill. I think we found who's been destroying the apples. My God! Z3, analysis. Und moment, while I scan the timeline for a visual match. Data retrieved. There are future Soviet cosmonauts originating from the mid-1950s. The future? Extended analysis. I've recovered a propaganda film detailing their mission. Roll it! Behold our brave Russian cosmonauts. Here in state-of-art training facility, they eagerly work day and night preparing to be first people ever going into space. Here they board Sputnik, which stupid Americans believe to be merely satellite. And really is spacious. Its roomy interior features all comforts of home. Insignificant problems such as solar radiation leaks are easily overcome. Observe how their strong ocean bodies quickly adapt to rigors of space travel. Our brave cosmonauts will slingshot around the red planet of Mars and go back in time to stop Western understanding of physics from ever happening. Our cosmonauts will change course of history for the glory of Mother Russia. If their plan succeeds, it will irreparably damage the course of human history and all that we know will cease to exist. The super science friends must ensure that the apple hits Isaac Newton's Call me space zombies from the future! Get him!
Churchill is my mentor. And if there's one thing he taught me, it's to always pack a lunch. He's going to do it. He just might do it. Almost there! Ooh. <laughs> it came right off. What the devil do we do now? Let's get the hell out of here. Wait, how does it turn out? I need to check the history books. Hmm, close enough. You are so cool, you don't even know how Your law of attraction meant to me deep down you are so cool, I'm where I am right now Because without you, I'd be all on my Ugh, did you see this episode? That is not what Marie Curie was like. Tell me about it. And that Nazi bomber at the beginning wasn't even in while in service until like 1942. Not to mention that the apple falling on Isaac Newton's head was a total myth. To think that the greatest discovery of all time had anything to do with... Why don't you live 